Are we gonna see Tectonic drop a zero by today? Well, what do you think, everybody? We are seeing in the last 48 hours, as you're seeing on the screen right now, and increasing the price of Tectonic, definitely putting a lot of us, the holders, super happy, knowing that we're just 2% shy from that 61% retracement on the Fibonacci levels. What does that mean? Well, we're really close to breaking and possibly going much further. Welcome, everybody. My name is Oscar Ramos. And by the end of this video, I'm going to give you all the technical analysis you need, the information and the news that you got to be aware, right? Plus, we're almost at 1 billion total supply for Tectonic. You don't know that? I'll tell you what you need to know. Sit down, relax, and you're the show. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. This is going to be amazing. Guys, looking at Tectonic right now, first and foremost, you have to be aware of the geopolitical macro events that are happening right now. Russian and Ukraine diplomats are meeting more constantly to get a resolution and finally end the war, which is great. Basically, Russia asking Ukraine to become a neutral state, like a neutral country, like Switzerland. And of course, there's a lot of, there's a lot of talks right there. But the point is, there's having more conversations right now that possibly Russia can be appeased by that and, and the war, that is great for the entire market because then it goes up, Bitcoin goes up, stocks go up, Crocon go up, and Kronos goes up. There you go, Tectonic. Also, the Fed, Papa Powell is meeting today right now, F-O-M-O-C meeting, something like that, basically discussing the rates and the economical trends. And well, they're going to be ending pretty soon and they're going to be having a conference telling us what in the world is going to happen. A lot of investors and analysts, very bullish on that, saying Bitcoin can go much higher, stocks can go much higher. That's why right now, if you go to the stocks, you see them trending at the time of this video. So, that is important as an investor. You need to know what's happening out there, knowing why it's causing this rise in tectonic, which I've told you that it's because some new buyers coming in, new whales coming in and pushing the price up. It's always great. Now, whether you want to buy or sell or do nothing, it's your decision, right? You are the one who's making the, the press buy or sell. And I'm super happy and I hope you're making a lot of money. In my case, everybody, I bought earlier and I bought much higher. So if I buy right now, it will be a dollar cost average strategy. Got it? All right, everybody, let's go ahead and dive in. What we're seeing on the screen right now, it's uh, 607 and 609. So we are, let me bring my ruler right now. We are from this point, 1.30% close to that 61% retracement. And we're going to be tested. We're going to be tested right here. Absolutely. We were tested somewhere here and we completely destroyed it with this uh, incredible tectonic pump. On the one hour view, everybody, stochastic RSI is down. What does that mean? That is That this is great. Possibly the next run, the next uh, movement in the last couple of hours, in the last hour can bring us much higher, even though we are still overbought right here on the other side. And on the Bollinger Bands, we are up. This can continue going up according to the stochastic error side, which is one indicator that I always like to use, knowing right that it is possible to have all of this in our case. We're very close to passing that 61% retracement. That is always great. Let's go ahead now to the four hour and see what it looks like for Tectonic. And here it is. On the four hour, we are overbought on the stochastic, we're overbought on the error uh, on the error side when we're really, really passing this. Um, I will say outer of the Bollinger Bands. What does that mean, everybody? Well, that some people are already starting to think about selling. Some people, maybe not you, but some people. I know I've asked you already, guys, and a lot of us were really committed to keep holding. That's not bad. You do what's best for you at the end of the day. What about the one day? In the one day, we're not overbought on the other side, we are getting the overbought on the stochastic and we're getting really close to the Bollinger Bands, right? Very, very, very close. So that's what it is. On the 15 minutes, this is what it looks like right now. We're not overbought on the um, error side, on the stochastic and on the Bollinger Bands, we're still getting there. So it's getting some consolidations right now as we are approaching right here, 2% more. I'm gonna go ahead and get my ruler right now from here. 2% more, which is going to be somewhere around here. We are already passing that stochat, that uh, Bollinger Band chart that I was mentioning. So it's really cool understanding how all of this plays out, everybody. This um, tectonic is pretty cool. And let me go ahead and start scrolling down for you. We are still 
we are still super down and waiting for a nice pump all the way at about here, which is going to be 90% up. As you're seeing on the screen right now, 90%, it is what we need to pass this recent height of tectonic that we had early February. If we're starting to have our third pump, as you know, we have number one, we have number two, and can we have number three right about here? Well, I am not the one who's going to tell you that because I don't know the future. I don't have a crystal ball, but whether you buy it here or here makes not much of a difference if the price goes all the way up, right? That is one of the best cases for us. We don't know what the future is according to the Bollinger, uh, according to the um, Bollinger Bands, the stochastic, the Fibonacci right here, the Fibonacci levels right here. As I told you, we're really close to passing that 61, but can we continue passing? We'll always stay in alert for those pumps that I can tell you. That is on this one, everybody. Very excited on this. Here's the billion that I was mentioning right now. Supply, we have thousands, uh, thousands, millions, and are about to be reaching the billion on the total supply. This is exactly what Tectonic uh, main value proposition does, borrowing and lending. And well, here it is. Pretty cool, everybody. You're lending, you're getting your uh, staking percentage. That's pretty cool. And on the Tectonic staking side, well, here it is. We're still at 200%. Not bad. Not bad. Knowing that not even a week ago was 4,000. It is 200 and so right now once it loads right here. On the price of the tonic, 556 rand on coin market cap. Not bad. Pretty cool. Still a lot of supply though. 212%. Not bad at all on, the, on there. And knowing that the cryptocurrency market, we're looking at 1.78. So still sideways trading, like I mentioned. There's going to be some pretty cool times once Papa Powell comes with the meeting and tells us what in the world is going to happen. Chris coming in and saying 130 billion, right? 3 billion TVL on Kronos. Not bad at all. What does that mean, everybody? I don't have it open, but let me open it for you. DeFi Lama, if the boss, if the boss is saying 3 billion TVL on Kronos, that's a huge, huge milestone, main led by MM Finance, VVS Finance. We come right here. And it's still not updated yet because here it tells us that it's 2.63 billion. So if it is at 3 billion, we're very close to Polygon. We're coming close. Isn't that exciting? That is why they're talking about we're going to be getting position number five. This is really good news, guys. So for us, what is the main price for us? Well, going back to the tectonic price right here. I'm going to keep holding on this one. I'm going to keep buying the dip because I want to make sure I'm in the best position here possible once the prices continue climbing up. Once again, I'm going to go to the one hour right here for Tectonic. I'm going to be erasing this for us. And well, everybody, this is exactly what it's looking for, right? For us and Tectonic, about right here. There you go. We're about 2%. So by the time you watch this video, if we already pass it, there you go, everybody. We made it. For now, buying, selling, holding, staking is up to you. Staking for me because this is a long-term project. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. So what do you think? Are we going to be passing very soon by tonight? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.